What is good? Not we're back. Jay Wins dancing. Mm. Got a little titty sweat. Ugh. <laughs> Jesus. All right. We're back. Full tripod. We just did the uh, must drafts. Now we're going to tell you those must avoid guys that stink and we hate them. <laughs> if you have hate in if your heart. If you lit. have hate in your heart, let it out. And they stink. <laughs> All right. Did you again, get that? Again, you know, it's, we like these first three rounds a decent amount. You know, I know everybody wants to tell you to trade out of every pick and get first round picks and don't pick any guys ever. Well, then you wouldn't end it up with, you know, Chris Olave's and Garrett Wilson's and, you know, the guys who are like top three in startup ADP right now. Um, top so, three rounds. You know, you, you, but t- today we're going to tell you who to really avoid. <laughs> but it's really just going to be at cost to have a little conversation. Um, <laughs> Because I don't really want to avoid anybody. I just want to avoid guys in certain spots. If they fall far enough, then I'm all in. Sure. Um, so. like Just like um, uh, what's Jalen Hyatt. Right. I th- he's going to be on this list, I think. So, All right. Let's start it off. Um, and and I'll, I'll go first um, for the avoids. And we're going super flex tight end premium as per usual. You're going to say Bijan. Um, yep. <laughs> yes. Yes, for sure. That's a good that's a good start to winning your draft. <laughs> sell Bijan. Just sell him off cuz he's a running back and he stinks. Um, and they wasted way too much capital. I mean, you're the like the f- fourth best running team in the league. I don't even understand. Man, why I they drafted a running back. I don't have any titty sweat, man. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> that one got deep in there. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Who's your I'm, fucking much to avoid? Well, I was t- I was about to tell you until I so rudely interrupted. Uh, <laughs> How rude! How rude! I waited for a breath. Were you going uh, Tanner or oh, were you Stephanie going Jar Jar Binks? Uh, no, <laughs> fucking Jar Jar Binks. Is he How probably, rude! He's probably like the best Star Wars character, huh? <laughs> So got and mad, everyone just turned off. Yeah, yeah <laughs> that was definitely to piss off the Star Trek. Lovers. I'm going. I'm going Jar Jar Binks of the first round. Uh, Devin A. Chain. Oh, we back to back. So, has nothing to do with a chain. He was on the must draft in the second round, but right. in the first round, you better avoid him, huh? That is. So, correct. if you get him at one twelve, it's terrible. But two right. at one, so, smash. That's so how this works. Kids. Always, always semantics involved for sure. There, um, but basically, I said it on the last podcast, and I'm going to basically use it to flip it from must draft Kendra Miller in the second round to I'm not drafting a chain in the first round. If I'm going to draft one of those back end running backs where where it was you know maybe charbonnet and and gonna be maybe the, the only running back drafted after gibbs in the first round now it seems to be kind of up for debate which one's gonna be sometimes it is still charbonnet but i probably wouldn't in the first round and i probably wouldn't take a chain in the first round i would i if kendra miller is the only running back i want to draft in the first round outside of uh gibbs and and Bijan obviously that that for me is just a you know I'm just gonna sell off I like I like the landing spot I like a chain a decent amount I, I was excited about the landing spot it's he's probably gonna be good but the fact remains of I still need the role to be really solidified and proven week in week out as a, as a viable fantasy option and I just think a guy like Kendra Miller can get in there and and be a, a workhorse like a traditional workhorse where I do have to rely on a little bit more uh, creativity uh, for the 185 pound uh, a chain. So I would agree with that sentiment. That's really, you know, so it's just at cost. That's, yeah, that was the first one at cost. Who wants to go next? I'll take the easy one here. Uh, I'm going to pass on Will Levis. Mm, easy on the first. I, it's got to be the back of the first. Right. Right. I, I Where he's going, you know, I, I don't I got to have all those wide receivers and I, I got to get Kincaid. And then I guess maybe like 111, I could take Will Levis. But anywhere earlier than that, I, he's a must avoid for me. Even if it, even if we're going from, even if we're stepping up from, to a 14 or 16 team league, does that change the calculus for you at all? Nah. Mm, it does I think me. I think it probably has to a little bit. It just does for me. Just even get even scarcer at the position there. So yeah. it makes sense. But, uh, you know, I mean, you, everybody in the room doesn't is probably gonna, not going to feel the same way about all these guys. Matt, you, you you probably are fine with taking him in front of some of those wide receivers, right? In of in in more than a twelve team league, yes. In just twelve, though, you you're fine. You you want to take the four wide receivers before him? Yep. The Which four being always... Quentin Johnson, Addison, Zay Flowers, and JSN. Correct. Correct. 
we're always talking 12 team PPR right. tight end premium well, that's 1. What I was asking five the, I was asking super the, flex yeah. we, we need to specify that we sure. have I did. So sure. I did you yeah oh yeah just yeah. thinking about titty sweat <laughs> Jesus really just <laughs> cut you deep female, what? female. right in this region here <laughs> <laughs> female titty sweat's the best just like swipe under there you know Nothing like a tangy box. All right. Uh, <laughs> Matt, who you got? I, I, I'm speechless. Y'all ever had tang? That's pretty. It's okay. Uh, again, this is at cost. I'm going with Gwen Johnston. Just too many questions. <laughs> too many questions. How does he fare against NFL corners? I mean. Who's throwing him the ball? Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah. Never mind. Overrated Justin Herbert, you know. I mean, it's a boomer bust. It's, it's he's he's the other, Herbert's either got a shit or get off the pot this year. Let's just, let's get serious. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it, again, it's just it's at cost. I think he's my fourth wide receiver. So so, so any anything after one ten is all right for Quentin Johnston. Yeah, I mean, I'm not I'm not taking him. I I could probably take Kincaid over him too, and you could talk me into Levis. Okay. I don't All think right. the other three. I think I'm pretty solidly taking the other three over both of those guys. I think I gotta get Quentin ja. Johnston. Yeah, that's See? that's fine. We're gonna disagree on some on some costs, and that's kind of how this works. If everybody agreed on costs, there wouldn't be any trade backs, or there wouldn't be any adjustments. There would be, be very, advantages. Also, be a very boring show. Right. Right. So I, I would. I'm, they just want a list of guys. They don't want any but any discussion and logic in here. They yeah. just want a list of guys. Who do I avoid? I like Quentin Johnson because he just he gives them something different. He's like they're one of their he only. Gives them something different from Mike Williams. Yes, a hundred percent. He Mike Williams gives you no yak ability. The best ability that Quentin Johnson has is yak. That gives them something totally different than those other two guys. They get now they have three different options. They have a savant, a route running guy who's a little older. They have a guy who can go up and big boy you in Mike Williams and then they give you Quentin Johnston who gets to learn under those two guys one and which if one can, one is a great route runner which could help him out and, and one other guy is really good my ball guy who could help him out he's got Kellen Moore over there calling that offense uh three wide receiver sets uh I think Quentin Johnston I, I like the fit there he needs he obviously needs to learn like I learned um and be willing to be coached and 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 whatnot but I'm I'm Definitely in on Quentin Johnston. Eddie. Again, this is a, yeah. The, I'm just I'm just making sure I'm I'm being clear. I'm drafting him fourth of the wide receivers. Sure. It's not like I'm saying I'm not drafting Quentin Johnston at gotcha. all. That's just not happening. All right, who's next? Who do we got in the second round here? You're up in the rotation. All right, I'll go. The rotation. Um, I'll throw an easy one, and we kind of foreshadowed here for me. Now, if he's at if he's at two twelve, then sure, I'm not necessarily saying avoid him. But Jalen Hyatt, uh, I have in the two or three drafts that rookie drafts that I've done. I don't like to draft this early. I like to draft. I like to wait a little while. I think it's silly drafting this early. People are like, I've got no. 25 rookie mocks. I'm like fucking Jesus Christ. <laughs> First of all, how could you even do anything in those mocks? Like, do you not, do you not do anything else? Mm -mm. I got a lot of shit going Definitely on. I don't have time like to sit through kids. 25 mocks to send trades and shit like you that. Just log on to fantasy pros and do it. Yeah. Um, even so I just to send that many offers into be act. That's how you're going to get, you know, everyone says trade back. Do this, do that. You know, uh, you know, that's a good, good trade back spot. Yeah. Well, to get a, a good trade back with a good price, you're gonna have to be very active and do a decent amount of work. It's very rare that you just type in this picks available and you just get a, you know, a great deal. Uh, activity is gonna be what drives that cost. If if yep. not, you can still move back if you're in the range. You're just not gonna get as good a deal, which is fine if you don't want to put the effort in. But to really squeeze that that uh, all that cost out or all that advantage out, uh, which that's where you get it from. You, you do need to be a little active. So I like to spread my rookie drafts out. But and, and I haven't seen Hyatt go in the second round. He goes, you know, somewhere in, in the 3-1 to 3-5-6 range in, in the three that I've seen. And at that point, the upside begins to be intriguing. At 2-12, you know, I'm not going to argue with you. But, you know, anywhere in that in that mid-2 mid range, I'm still going to – there's there's a bunch of other receivers and running backs and tight ends – that I would much rather have than Hyatt in that situation. Yeah, I mean, I was avoiding Hyatt beginning of the second round. I thought that was way too much for him, right. and that was with him going, and as people were talking about, oh, Hyatt's going to go in the first. Hyatt was never going in the first. Yeah. The, especially after he ran the combine and ran in the mid-4-4s. Four people talk about him running 4-3, four, 4-2, four, and that just didn't happen. Yeah. Um, you yeah. never had me. You never yeah. had your car. 
Thanks. Granny shifting, Th- not double clutching when you should. <laughs> Thanks, Dom Toretto. Again, I'm not I'm not avoiding Hyatt at the end of the second. I always thought that's where he should have been, so I'm yeah. okay with it. Yeah, um, with the even with the th- even going in the third. So yeah, I, I like the or shot no. now. Once we get to that to that end of the second, early third, it's a it's a fun shot. And I really don't hate the landing spot. It's what wasn't the worst. It's it's kind of wide yeah, open there. There's yeah, a lot of one year yeah. guys and ifs and maybes there. Yeah. So I don't hate it. I like the shot. There's just a slew of other guys in the second round that I would much rather have. Once we get to that back end, I'm cool with it. Yeah, and then third round for sure. Yeah, might even trade into the third round to get some Hyatt if he falls far enough. Sure. But again, this is all about cost. So who's next? Well, I think I'm just going to steal Matt's because I'm trying to I, I see who your second guy, who your second round must avoid is. And I, I that's who I kind of thought of. And I can't really think of anybody else. What a um, son of a bitch. So I could just let you go, Matt. How about you just tell us who your se- second round must avoid is? So it's Josh Downs. Yeah. I just don't like the I didn't like the player on film. I don't think that's a great landing spot. He's a slot only player. Not that there's anything wrong with slot only players. Not that there's anything wrong with it. It's just, I'm just not in love with. And what are we getting out of Richardson? Is the other question as well too. It's sure. just. So I have a little bit of a different take. I I don't I dislike his film. I I liked what I saw from Josh Downs. I was intrigued, uh, and and, I, and I'm down to take him, but from what I've seen, I feel like he's going a little bit sooner than what I want. I want to get. I got, I got to take Mims. I I think I want Rashi Rice. Sure. I want Tajay Spears. I definitely want you know A Chain and Miller and Mayer and Musgrave and probably Laporta. I want. I didn't hear Roshan there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That could have been my must avoid. For oh, we would have been fighting. We would have been, we would have been fighting. <laughs> I almost did it just out of principle. Yeah. <laughs> should have should have hit him with that. Uh. I like the tape. There's just a lot of guys that I, I want to take in front of him, and I don't know what's going to happen with A. Rich. And, and I, the, the Colts seems like a good landing spot, but a lot of growth to be done with A. Rich from a passing standpoint. He does have Pittman. He does have Alec Pierce. They do have a run game that they're probably just going to lean on, which they should. So I don't know if that it's going to work out super quickly for you. Maybe, maybe him and Richardson get together, and that's his safety blanket maybe feels comfortable because that man gets open and is going to be in the intermediate you know short yeah easy throws maybe they that's jelani woods okay yeah i i i I, i'm fine with taking the shot on downs but he does need to be after a lot of those guys yeah um i i do agree that's what i I said same thing about uh downs that it is going to be really tied to the development of, of richardson and how he moves forward uh, but he, like you said, it could it could be a, a nice easy. Uh, maybe they maybe those are the guys that develop the rapport. How many? I'd have to really get in there. I don't know exactly what offense is going to be run uh, for the Colts this year. It's a whole new regime, whole new everything. Uh, Steichen's going to probably if, Steichen. If if uh, I don't exactly know who's going to start the year off, it may be it could be Garner for the first couple of weeks. I don't probably think so. not, but I think it, it's, yeah. it certainly could be, I guess the point that I'm really getting at, which would definitely be better for downs. I think if those guys started, because I think the way that they would present themselves might be a little different. I think with what you're going to get with, with Anthony Richardson is, is, is exactly kind of how Shane approached it with Jalen hurts. We're going to keep things close to the vest. We're, yeah. Maybe we're going to play a little bit bigger personnel. Maybe we're going to, you know, lean on the run a little bit, lean against what Anthony could do. Let's get him comfortable. Let's get things moving. Let's move yeah. the chains. Let's get confidence. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's, let's bang it with JT and let's get, we can get Hull a little bit involved to give you a change of pace. Um, and you know, how much, if, if how many three down, how many th- 11 personnel sets are we running yeah. and how much is is uh down's going to be involved off the jump i i can't say with any conviction necessarily there isn't any real data to to push me any one direction uh you know i will i will give shane a lot of credit for adjusting from where the way the eagles started that first season with with jalen hurt starting and then very much so adjusting and then getting him comfortable and then coming back the next season adding aj brown and really developing that passing attack um and I think you're going to see the same thing uh, with with the way the Colts uh, are going to operate here. And, I, it, I, you know, the fact that Downs is prime. Like, I just can't see Downs taking Pierce off the field in two sets, if they're, especially if they're going to be doing a lot more no. leaning run sets. 
um, and maybe taking shots. Yeah, I totally um, agree with that. So, you know, I, I, I get it. A lot of people aren't going to like that. I don't know a lot of people like downs. I, I'll give this a downs. He's got a great analytical profile. I yeah. agree, totally agree with that. It's just I just didn't love the film, and I'm going to – that's what I'm going to go off of. I'm, I'm going to use the analytical things to, to split hairs and basically weed some people out, but um, – just, just not in love with the, just not in love with the tape. If you want to take him at the beginning of the third, I have no problem with that. But he's not second, falling that far. I'm down no, to take him towards the end of the second. No, but I'm taking Tillman. I'm taking Hyatt. I'm taking. Um, nah, I'm definitely not taking Tillman or Hyatt over Downs. No, I'm I'm 100 percent do doing that. I'm doing that ten I'm, times a ten. I'm gonna, you know, I could. I What's can the push. reasoning for not taking them over Downs? I could also. I don't, I don't understand what the what the rationale for taking Downs over both of them is. You know, I would take Josh Downs over over Hyatt and Tillman is because the, that's where the value is. You could probably, tr- you could you could trade back. You know, you don't have to take those two guys in front of Downs. But Downs I just don't like understand higher. why you're taking Tillman and Hyatt. Why you're taking Downs over Tillman and Hyatt? I, I think, don't. I don't I understand the arguments. What the arguments for, except for analytics. Nah, that's definitely not my argument. I like I like the tape of Downs. I I like the tape of uh, Hy- Hyman Hyatt too. Hyman. I just combined Hyatt and Tillman. <laughs> Jalen Hyman, <laughs> uh, old Cherry Poppins over there. I liked I liked what I saw from him as well, and and, and I can't you know you, you obviously didn't get to see a lot of Tillman this year, but I think Tillman's got a little bit more to battle for with targets. I mean, immediately, anyways, I guess it could work out long term. Uh, you know, this first year he's probably third or fourth at best on the pe- in the pecking order, whereas Downs could beat out. Alec Pierce to be the second target. No, there's not a chance. In, 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 not a chance. It, it, I, I, don't, I disagree all, that there's it, not a chance. But. If they come out and run. Pierce is going to play outside. Downs so what? Can, Downs can't play outside. He can't play outside. That doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all to me. Zero it matters. But it so matters who, who Anthony Richardson wants to fucking throw the ball to. That's just, what matters I just, to me. I just don't see Downs playing outside, so that takes that him off the field. That doesn't matter. But if he can't just, get on the field in two wide receiver sets, then why am I drafting him? Well, the, it's just the Jarvis. Pens. You don't like Jarvis Landry. You never like Jarvis. They, the A dot. Well, I mean, it, but that's not it at all. All these that's, slot that's wide not receivers. It at all. Wandale came out and was crushing for a couple games. Like that's not it at all. You're such a slottist. So, so it's it really comes down <laughs> to you know what how they're going to scheme. I think eventually they're that that Downs and they'll be running plenty of eleven because everybody runs a ton of eleven and Downs will have plenty of opportunity. It's just going to might be early on. It might be hit or hit or miss for for Downs. Um, where Hyatt and Tillman. Hyatt has a little bit of, or uh, Tillman has a little bit more, com- uh, you know, uh, competition, and you know Hyatt. Were, I wasn't, I didn't love the the yeah. the tape, but very explosive and and you know just a weird room in general for the receivers. Yeah, Tillman, uh, you know, Pierce, I I think is going to lock down the two spot for the most part, and I don't I don't think there's any reason that Downs is, is necessarily going to be outside. I, I would take Downs over Tillman and Hyatt, uh, just because I think as I believe that Richardson's going to develop and I believe that they have a plan and I believe that, you know, I trust that system and that coach and that quarterback to, to get where we need him to be um, and, and be, you know, a, a pretty effective player. Um, and I do think that there's also more public interest in downs uh, than those other two guys for the most part. So I, I think that, that keeps your asset a little bit more liquid there uh, rather than, you know, Tillman, could, right, the value could get buried and yeah, nobody downs. really likes him all that much. And Hyatt, there's splash that could come along with that. Um, I, I like Tillman probably the best out of all those players. Correct. Um, but I would I'm taking downs, at, you know, at the end of the second round. Yeah, I'm just, I'm at this end of the second round. I'm not taking. A but I get, I get what you value. I get what you're saying, and I get what your eval kind of. S- said to you um i also don't know that he can't play outside i mean there was one game i watched where he was out wide like the first three or four snaps and he was getting open and targeted and catching the ball you know what i mean he would legitimately have to you know beat out pierce and be able to do some of the things that pierce can do i don't know what where pierce ended up on the blocking scale of things but i think that's going to play a role into uh you know what can kind of be and you know I, i think uh downs can be certainly pushed around uh out there so uh, it's also kind of hard to get his hand, get your hands on him yeah but I, I want you to block him not I, I need i think we're going to be needing the guy to block yeah. uh, immediately more so than get off of press yeah um, so it'd be an interesting battle between 
you know, and and you know, you never know. Downs is on my must avoids unless it's over Tillman or Hyatt. Then, <laughs> you know, I, I would I would also say that you know I'd push Mingo and Reed uh, to the back half of that second round. No way, uh, for, not a chance. To me, for me, Reed, yeah, a hundred percent. Mingo, no. I'm saying six, six, two, six or later for me for Mingo for the second round. No, this guy, I'm not taking him anywhere before that because mm. you're, you're going to get a chain. Most likely you're going to get Miller. Uh, you know, you're going to get Mayer. You're probably going to get Laporta. Two, six. I don't hate it. I, I Mims, think I'm the room through my head here. Right. Right. Uh, Spears, Rice. I'm I think all those guys. I could over go Mingo, Mingo over. And Reed. I could go over. I could go Mingo over Rice. That's fine. If, you, if that, that 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 could turn out to be great. I'm taking I'm taking Rice. For, but I'm taking both. The, I'm taking both of the tight ends over. Over right, over Mingo, and I'm probably taking, definitely taking all three of the Ruse running backs. And if one of the, if Kendra or A Chain or or whatever go in the first round, that means Charbonnet's probably falling down there. I'll take Charbonnet before him too. So yeah. you know, however that kind of sure. shakes out. Sure. So just one two six. I don't hate it. Uh, now that I'm thinking about it. Sorry, two right. six. That's fine. Right. I mean, that's kind of what makes sense to me. I see Mingo a lot at two three, two four, and I'm I'm pushing him a little further down. Um, I just non tight end premium. I'm that's sure. fine. But sure. yeah, I'm taking yes. Laporte and May over him. Agreed. Um, all right, let's go third round. Uh, for me, it's probably uh, in tight end premium. I've seen some Dwayne uh, Washington. Darnell. Or Darnell Washington go there. That's who I was going to go and with. I'll, You're gonna, avoiding him in the third round? Yeah, I'm pushing him out of there. I, once we get into the fourth, mm-hmm. uh, I'll I, at later fourth, I will go. I just... I just don't see uh, like he's very athletic and and a great blocker and that could be great for what they're maybe for what they're doing. Uh, I just there's not enough for me to get that excited about him as an actual player. Friar Moose, an outstanding tight end in this league to do to be their passing attack tight end. So I, I'm just gonna take some other shots throughout the third round. I you know I would you I'd, rather have I'd take Kraft over him. I'm just gonna ask you that. Would you rather have uh, I'd take Strange. I'm taking Schoonmaker. I'm taking all those guys over over Schoonmaker. Washington. Whatever Schooner the Schooner. So, okay. yeah, all those dudes. All right. Um, what about Cameron Latow? I don't know anything about Latow. Well, so. he plays for your 49ers. Uh, so. Right. And I don't know anything, but I'm definitely, I'm not taking him. Uh, what about I don't know the, anything uh, about that, uh, What about that Elijah cat who went to the Higgins? Dolphins? Higgins? Yeah. Is it Higgins? Yeah. Um, I'll de- I definitely like him taking him late for it, like end of the last pick of the draft uh, kind of deal. Uh, but I could, I could be fine with taking Washington okay. for him. Just curious. Who you guys got? Uh, Jason, go ahead. Let me hear who you got. <laughs> <laughs> who you Mine's got? Jaden Reed. Not even in the third? No. Wow. Just, shade. Just, just just passing them this all is together. the shade room over just here. Just passing them all together. Really? Just didn't like him. Didn't like his tape. I mean, he's, again, another slot only guy who there's two much better wide receivers on his team. They just drafted two tight ends who are both pass catchers. So how much 11 personnel are they running? They've got two running backs who can who are going to be on the field a lot. Just I don't see the upside there, so fuck them. Fuck them. I, I, I'm going to disagree with that. I, I, I like I like Jaden Reed at the back end of the second, early third. I'm fine with that. There's a lot. Of, there's too much maybe going on uh, in that realm. I haven't dove in quite well enough to really back him wholeheartedly about the the inside or out. I thought he played a decent amount of outside. Um, but I'd rather have du- a dubs or. But I think I think if he does, I think if he does play, if he can play the slot for them, I think that would be going to be a he could be. He's going to be their punter. I think that's a good I think that's a good position for him because I don't I don't think he's better than uh, dubs or Watson. So I think no. he could earn that third role. Sure. That's fine. They just drafted again. They just drafted. There is a lot to be. Desi- we don't exactly know what's going to. Ex- we have no idea what's going to happen with there. Jordan Love. Right. In the third, though, I'm okay with taking nah, a shot. I'm passing. Um, All right, I'm gonna go with Boutte. Really? Yeah. See, that's a that, that's that's a, a, that's a smash. I almost threw him as a must draft. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I'm just not even looking at him. And why? In, in the third, just because going to the Patriots. I just I don't know. I haven't been super excited about my man. There's there's some red flags. There's oh, some, there's some big red flags. I I don't like the Patriots landing spot. I like some of the other guys there. I. Uh, I don't the know. The other guys that have there are old, other than Thornton. Thornton, I like Thornton. Uh, Juju's coming into town. Yeah, There's not that a, much. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't even know what's going to happen there. It just seems yeah. like an easy risk to mi- mitigate. Because I, I like everybody else, you know. I'm down to take Hooker and Reed and Tillman and Hyatt and Chase Brown, Zach Evans, Gray, Strange, Tank Dell, all day. You know, I, I yeah. 
Boote, Shoon, Shoonmaker, Strange, yeah. Darnell Washington, they'd all be pushed to the back of that third round for me. So I'm probably going to miss on Boote. I probably, I'm probably just, that's I'm not fair. necessarily like avoiding him. It's not oh, like a must it. avoid. Well, that's what the, well, this name is a of. stupid title that we did to get people to <laughs> click on it. Like it's, but it's like a conversation about where the value is. You know what I mean? Like, sorry, we fooled you. But if you made it 21 minutes in, then you know what the fuck's going on. So, um, it's just, I'm probably, I'm probably avoiding this man in, in, in the third round. I mean, yeah. but really, like in the third round, take whoever the fuck you want to take. Take your guy. Take yeah. a swing. Yeah, I mean, this, this the whole point was the conversation yeah. of costs and yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I mean, my, I mean, my must draft player was was a fifth round pick, and my must avoid was a second rounder. So right, what the fuck do I know? Um, you know. We am going into the fourth round. Like I don't really have anybody who yeah would necessarily take whoever you want to take. Do you have somebody? For the fourth round, yeah, Kenny McIntosh. McIntosh, see, I like that. That's a good. That's I'm not. I haven't have looked at his name one time. Mm-hmm. Not interested. Just not interested if at he, all. If he goes just, to free agency, I'll scoop him up. But yeah, just but not probably interested. Not. He's he obviously went to Seattle. I mean, the pass catchers they had there didn't do much of anything, anyways. So I'm just why bother? Yeah, yeah. So I I don't have any great fourth fourth round. You know, no, nah, I mean, necessarily I, like, avoids. I want to take a band of Canada. I'm down to take McBride. Wilson usually falls to yeah, the fourth. I'm, I would Hutchinson. rather take all of those guys who have right. way more upside than McIntosh Hull, does. Bennett, Tucker. So anyone I didn't name, those would be must avoids. Yeah, I mean, I'm not. I don't. I don't have a great fourth round. I can get avoids, one of those guys I just named in the fourth round. You know, and if they're all gone, I'll take a stab on Parker Washington. Yeah, baby. So, so. That what that might we, that might be the shortest wide receiver room in the NFL. The yeah, the Jags. Ingram, <laughs> he can't get paid like a wide receiver, but no, they're definitely in short. Hollywood, Dorch, and uh, Rondell are definitely shorter than Kirk. Mm, that's fair. Uh, well, they still got new, but those guys are all six foot at least. Yeah, <laughs> barely. <laughs> <laughs> um, how about Tillman? Where where does where does Tillman right fall in line here in this in this third round? Because I think there's at least some I could take I could take old Seti Tillman late second. Yeah, he wants him late second because he's taking him over Josh Downs. Oh, easy. Got to reach up Hyatt or Tillman. Second. I'm sticking with my draft grades and going Tillman. But you could be I oh, yeah, draft, I, my, I feel I, the same way. Grade, but I could my, be swayed when on the clock at at that point where you're end of second, early third, where you're looking for the the swing, and the swing. Yeah, but Hyatt feels... wasn't doing anything until Tillman got injured. <laughs> sure, but you know, just just and then he won, and then he went out, and then, uh, he went nuclear. He absolutely right. went nuclear. If there's one guy to scheme, if there's one guy to Litnikoff, scheme, right? Yeah. If there's one guy to scheme, and the la- in the third you know, round, Dayball the landing spot, Dayball could have, yeah. could, could be decent, and they're 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 thirsty for somebody <laughs> thirsty. to be. Their guy, they yeah. Who was that guy? In, who was that guy they had last year? They brought year? in Paris, ha- Hodge, uh, Hodgkins, Isaiah Hodgins, Hodgins, yeah. Uh, which I'm, I'll put him on every single team. I think he's he literally gives them something that they do not have. You anywhere. could start that man yeah. in your flex if you have he, to. He's their yeah. big outside guy who is familiar with Dayball from the from the Bills, and he came right in and was was effective. And they brought his ass right back. Um, and they brought back Slayton. They brought in Paris. They got Shepard coming back, you know. Maybe so they got you know, and Wandale. then Wandell. So yeah. they got they got some guys who are similar and, 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 and old, and they, and they brought in Waller, and they brought in Waller, which and is they awesome. still have um, uh, Bettinger, Bellinger. Bellinger, Bellinger, which is awesome. But a lot of those receivers are sort of redundant. And, yeah, yeah, for sure. You know, Hyatt gives you that. I can. That speed Hyatt's going to play. Hyatt's not playing inside, though. I'll tell you that much. He's not playing inside. Yeah, well, Waller's going to dominate inside probably. Yeah, so but. that's why I'm kind of interested in Hyatt, where he can play that downfield game. All right, let's uh, let's wrap it up here. Let's get out. Appreciate y'all. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, again, we're not avoiding anybody. We're just avoiding situations uh, and costs. So, uh, but Butte, don't avoid him. Um, that we're, we avoided to a point. I think that's the worst guy on the list. I said I didn't want to do this show. I said I didn't want to do this. <laughs> I just feel like there's good opportunity there. Like they, there's just yeah, you know, Thornton's a great second, breakout age. Thornton's a second round pick, which you don't know, come at me with analytics I over think, there. I think Thornton's good. Juju's fine. We, we all know Juju's fine. How long's gonna be there for? This is wide open for the taking, uh, and I, I think Booty could. Devontae Parker, and, you know, if he comes in and, and keeps it 
uh, together there. Keeps it and 100. It isn't an a-hole. And, you know, I mean, the crafts are kind of into sex parties, I think. So, I mean, I, I think could be. Just, I think of it as more of just an R&T kind of guy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, I like the bootay. All right. Don't listen to me. Take who you want to take <laughs> in the third round. We made you do it. Yeah. They made me do it. It's like Dr. Dre on the chronic. Except not as good as that was. Appreciate y'all for joining us. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe. Tell us who you're avoiding. Who, who, who can you not stand? That's everyone's favorite topic. Ah, this guy's trash. He's trash. Till he's not, you know, till he's not. Well, but uh, just keep making up reasons why he is. Yeah, we'll just find a new stat. We'll find. Gotta one. move them goalposts. Well, you know, Jahan Dotson, he can't keep this touchdown scoring up. You know, it, it has to go down. It does smell like we could get a pie bet going on some receptions or yardage for downs, though. Yeah. Still, oh, pie. Yeah. Oh, that pie. All how right. About, how about, thousands of people have seen Case take Pie to the face at this point. How did that pie taste, by the way? Look good. It was delightful. I bet it was. A little French silk. Oh, yeah. Look look, look, look good. Yeah. It's a good right. pie. Hit that five-star review on Spotify, iTunes, por favor. Much appreciated. Come over to the Patreons. Patreon.com slash FF Dynasty. And then you go right over to Discord. That's what we're doing. So it's a fun time over there. We got extra shows. Interact with the crew. The pleasure chester. We have a good time. We appreciate y'all for joining us, and we'll be back soon for your pleasure. Guys? Peace.